Well, it is the second day of Covenant Kids Week, our week-long effort to raise money and awareness for Covenant's youngest patients. Today, we're going to take you to the emergency care center dedicated to caring for the littlest patients. Now, this segment was recorded before the COVID-19 pandemic, so you won't see anyone wearing masks, social distancing, or following Covenant Healthcare's current COVID safety precautions. TV5's Meg McLeod takes us on a tour where children get their own space in emergency care. So we can see the pediatric patients anywhere in the emergency department, but we do have the um, section back here where it's kid specific. We're a level two adult in pediatric trauma center. We see over 93,000 a year patients in general in this emergency department. A trip to the emergency care center can be scary for little ones. That's why Covenant Healthcare has a dedicated area just for them. So when they come through triage, this is the first thing that they see when they're coming to their, um, their rooms. And all of this was done by a local artist. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I remember seeing this last year. I know there are a lot of murals, but wow. Cool, and it lights up and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. From stuffed animals to themed rooms, the pediatric area tries to put minds at ease for both kids and parents. It makes them more um, kid friendly. You know, it's a different environment for them. They're, they're scared and when you make it more of a warm environment, they're more receptive to their care. They're at ease, their parents are at ease, and we're at ease because um, we want to take good care of them. Yes. Yes. So this whole area here is all dedicated for our pediatric population. Okay. Let me see if we have an open room. I do. We have fish tanks in our pediatric rooms just to kind of make it more kid friendly. Um, TVs in their room just to kind of take their um, mind off of that. Dolphin. How nice. Yep. And there's a different theme in each room. Kids who visit the emergency center, regardless of whether they're the patient, get a free book. People across our community donate books to fill the shelves of this little library for children of all ages. We've actually had patients that have previously been here that are so empowered by it that they go back to school and tell their friends and then come back and give us um, books and that type of thing. So we've had a couple of those this past year. These books they do get to take home. This is um, actually something that one of our nurses and physicians have championed um, and they do this on their own spare time. Get it all organized and try to get us donations and those types of things. How many staff members do you have in the ER? A little over 200. Wow! More than 15,000 kids came through the emergency room during a peak year. It averages just over 12,000. Covenant's Emergency Care Center boasts 65 beds. So then this is where all the ambulance traffic comes through, whether they're coming to the PEDS unit or anywhere in the ER specifically. So oh. everybody, if they're not coming through our front doors, they're coming through the ambulance bay. Okay, so through here. adults and kids. Yep. Yep, okay. absolutely, absolutely. Wow. So then they'll check with the charge nurse and they decide, um, is this patient stable enough to go to peds? Or we also have resuscitation rooms where if the infant needed that or a child, then they would go to those rooms. So this is a pretty, can be a pretty chaotic Absolutely. Entrance. And all of that is in our backyard. Now for Covenant Kids Week, we are raising money all week long with two phone banks where you can call in your pledge to help Covenant Kids get much needed equipment. The first phone bank will be tonight. Be sure to tune in to TV5 from 5 until 6.30. You can also text KIDS to the number on your screen, 989-583-7604, or you can find a link in the hot link section of WNEM.com.